Hey guys, this is Laser for Underby Gaming, and today I'm going to show you what we did to get The Sims 2 Body Shop to work on Windows 10. So we wanted to play Sims 2, but it seemed that every time we finished creating a character, the game would crash. I'm not sure if Sims 2 has an issue with just sitting idle for a long time, but that seems to be what's happening. So we thought maybe it would be a good idea to use Body Shop to create our characters outside of the game. That way, all we have to do is log into the game and select the character from the bin and start playing with them instead of just sitting in the create a sim for an extended period of time and risk the game crashing. So the first thing you want to do is open your Windows Explorer. Now you need to know where the game actually installed. By default, when you download the game from Origin, it installs on the C drive. You'll see me going into a different drive, uh, but you need to figure out where it is that you installed it and then you can follow along. Now go into the directory in which you installed it, you're gonna go into the program files, x86 or times 86, whatever you wanna call it. Then you're gonna go to Origin Games, The Sims 2 Ultimate Collection. You're gonna go to Fun With Pets, then SP9, CS Bin, and your Sims 2 body shop is going to be right here so you can just create a shortcut in the desktop for easier access. So the first problem we ran into when we tried to start body shop it's that it just wouldn't run. You double click on the icon and all you get is a white screen. You can't even close it. Before you do anything, you actually want to try and run Body Shop, even if you have to control alt delete to close it later. To those who, like me, are using a laptop that has switchable GPUs, for example, a laptop that has an NVIDIA card and, and um, an Intel chip, the first thing you could try is right click on your desktop you click on NVIDIA control panel you're gonna go to manage 3D settings if you're not there already then over to this tab where it says program settings then you're gonna click on add this window comes up you're gonna select the Sims 2 body shop from this list then click on add selected program you're gonna go down here to the number two and you're gonna select integrated graphics that should be your Intel card and click apply now you can close this page and try to run body shop one more time as you can see now it runs it's now fully functional and you can use it to build your sim outside of the game If the last method didn't work, there's a couple of other things we could try. This method also applies to people whose computers only have one GPU, like a desktop, where you only have your monitor connected to your, you know, your main video card or laptops that only have one GPU instead of two, like the one I have. So we're going to go back to that 3D settings page. That's right click, NVIDIA control panel. Manage 3D settings if it doesn't take you there automatically. Then you go to Program Settings. Now, if you added it before, The Sims 2 should be right here. But if you didn't, all you have to do is just add, select Sims 2 Body Shop from this list, then add selected program. Down here on number two, instead of selecting integrated graphics, you're going to select High Performance NVIDIA Processor, then apply. You can close this page out. 
then try to run Body Shop. You're still going to get a white page, but try this. Alt, Enter, and there you go. It's actually running on, on full screen. It's fully functional. You can use it to build your sim as out of the game. Now, the only drawback with doing it like this in full screen is that their heads seem to be cut off when you're zoomed out all the way, but honestly, not that big of a deal. Now, if none of these methods work, you could also try, in combination with the previous two methods, to run it as administrator and to mess around with the compatibility settings. You do this by right-clicking on the shortcut, go into properties down here, then in compatibility, in this tab, you could run it in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3 and then run this program as an administrator. We actually had to do this on another machine that we tried to test the body shop on and then try again. One last quick tip. If you actually do get the game running, we ran into an issue while creating the characters in Body Shop. For some reason, they did not cross over into the main game, and we couldn't figure out why. Some of them did, some of them didn't, and we couldn't figure out why it was happening, and we couldn't find any help on the internet either. We discovered what our problem was. If uh, you build your sim, try to avoid selecting the young adult setting right here. Let me just show you, because you can select, you know, toddler, child, teen, and and all the other ages here. Do not select young adult, because in the main game, they do not have a young adult tab. Once you run the game, you're going to have to select which age you want your sim to be, right? And when you import the sim from here, it's not going to be there because there's no young adult tab. So just try to avoid making any sim in young adult. Either pick adult or any of the other ages, just in case you're having the same problem. Thanks a lot for watching. I really hope this tutorial was able to help some of you get Body Shop to run on your Windows 10. Again, this is Laser for Earned by Gaming, and I'll see you next time.